it's Mr. Keys, and today we're going to talk about playing chords with rhythm. But this time, we're going to talk about the concept of using silence to enhance what we're playing. When you play a chord and then immediately play another chord right after and then follow that with another chord and so on and so on, where there's no space in between chords, it's very similar to someone who's talking out loud without stopping. Eventually, you just tune them out and what they say becomes less interesting. See how I just left some space there? It allowed you to think about what I just said. It's important. Moving back to our discussion about chords, there's nothing wrong with holding chords and just connecting them one into another. But using space is a tool that we can use to make our songs or beats more interesting. Okay, let's talk about a concept in music called rests. So when we talk about rests, this is known as a whole rest. Okay, and it's shaded in like that. And it's four beats. It kind of looks like an upside down hat. Now the one that looks like a right side up hat is a half rest and it's gonna be two beats. And then we have one last rest that looks like this. And it's called a quarter rest. And it's one beat long. So when I use notation, these are the kind of rests that I'll be using. Let's create a four bar progression and we'll use three chords. F major for one entire bar, A minor for one bar, and G major for two bars. This is what the notation looks like. So we have F major, A minor, G major, and G major. And here are our bar lines. So for the first way, uh, we're just gonna play it the normal way, which is gonna be whole notes for the entire time. So this is what it's gonna sound like. Okay, so you notice in the beat, I have drums and I also have a bass. Okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this progression. And this time, so we have F major, A minor, G major, and G major. But this time, instead of playing and holding chords for four beats each, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the chord for one beat, and then we're going to have uh, some rests. Okay, so that fills up one beat plus two beats, and that's one beat. So one, one plus two is four. And we're going to do the same thing for every bar. So essentially, we're only playing each chord for one beat. But we're not coming in to the next chord right away because we need to make sure that this chord lasts for four beats, even though we're not playing. Here's what that sounds like. So notice how the first bar is still dedicated to F major. The second bar is still dedicated to A minor. The third and fourth bars are still dedicated to G major, but we have a lot of silence. It also gives our bass line more space and our drums more space because the piano is not just covering every single spot in every single bar. Okay, so we're going to do the same progression once again. But this time... Instead of playing every chord on beat one for one beat, we're gonna play every chord on the second beat and hold it for one beat. So nothing on the first beat. We play our chord on the second beat and only for one beat. So that means we have a two beat rest. 
Okay, and I'll do that for the first two chords. And then for the next two chords, uh, let's mix it up a little bit. So we'll do a two beat rest. And then we'll play our chord for two beats. Okay, so notice how I form a little pattern. The first and second bar are the same. The third and the fourth bar are the same. Here's what this sounds like. Okay, so even that is very different from what we've done before. But you can see how space makes things just a little more interesting. Okay, so this is going to be our last pattern for today. So once again, same chords. But this time what I'm going to do is we're going to play each chord only on beat one, nothing on beat two, and we're going to play it on beat three, nothing on beat four. All right, so one, these are all one beat rests, so that adds up to four. It always has to add up to four, no matter what we do. Otherwise, we might be encroaching on the next chord's territory. All right, so there we have it. Let's see what this sounds like. So there are many more patterns that we can use and that we can create using these notes and these rests that we've learned so far. Some people like to write things out using notation and others like to just feel the rhythm and make things up on the spot. The most important thing is how your music sounds at the end of the day.